So this relates to our tracer platform. The current unmet medical need is the, the inability of conventional capsids, these naturally occurring capsids, to uh, deliver in a widespread fashion throughout the central nervous system. Um, uh, people have tried, we at Voyager have tried, uh, to deliver in different ways. And, and these might include injection into the cerebral spinal fluid through different routes, or even a direct injection into the brain of, of patients. Um, the challenge is to get broad distribution to the brain through these routes. Um, the vascular system uh, is pretty broadly distributed to the brain in the entire body, actually, but pretty broadly distributed throughout the brain. And so what we're doing with our novel capsid platform is to identify novel AAB serotypes, capsids, that enable the crossing of the blood-brain barrier into the brain. So we really harness that, that widespread distribution of the vascular system to enable us to deliver broadly across the brain. Uh, that's something that the conventional capsids to date haven't been able to achieve. Uh, we think that uh, what that's going to enable us to do is deliver broadly, but also to increase the therapeutic window, to give us this uh, ability to decrease the dose, to avoid the potential side effects and tolerability issues that going with high doses, um, people have found with high doses in the clinic, and still get that, that broad delivery necessary for eff clinical efficacy. So GBA1, uh, we recently announced a partnership with Neurocrine Biosciences, and it's something we're, we're incredibly thrilled about. Um, the data that we're talking about at this meeting um, relates to the selection of, a, of the transgene. Um, so uh, an AEV gene therapy consists of a capsid, which um, we've spoken about, and a payload, and the payload is the transgene. And so um, uh, we've done a, a lot of work to identify an optimal transgene. We've looked in vitro and we've looked in vivo in wild type and animal models that lack GBA activity, GKS activity, uh, to select a transgene. And we've identified in, in the, the data that our team will be describing uh, the results from three different constructs where we see excellent delivery, excellent expression of the protein, and activity of the enzyme um, in these animal models.